It was a sunny Friday morning, approximately 11 a.m. The best part of the morning rush was almost over. It was almost lunchtime. Most of the crew were already half dead, ready for lunch. Reggie, the body mechanic, pulled a double shift and is still working with the next shift. Deadlines were coming up, and most of all, all the projects needed to be completed. Meeting at 12. I heard while overlooking the paperwork for receiving vehicles. Hey, uh, Enrique, I want you to run through this car for me, real quick. Just take it apart and confirm all the parts were repaired and there's no remaining damage. Oh, yeah, um, flush the oil pan for me. I almost forgot about the oil pan. Imagine being a mechanic and your boss says look in the oil pan for gold. These were actually the thoughts to myself as I instructed him while he was under the car changing parts or whatever the mechanics do. The best thing about Main Street was everything was organized. Used cars on one side, new cars on the other, imports, and also it was two different departments for financing. Anyway, take your time, tech. And remember, don't kill yourself. We need you. I'm going to be honest, this week is going to be crazy. We got three new cars coming from imports straight out of Cali. I think five cars are already lined up for sale. And I'm not even sure what's going on with the dealership up north, but I think they need something from us. Take it easy, bro. Take it easy. You know we got this. We've been doing this since we've been in the streets. To be honest, I've been thinking about the streets a lot lately, man. Bro, I told you, we both agreed that we're going to put that to rest. You know what I'm saying? We legit now. Everything is good. We don't have to worry about none of that, bro. To be honest, we got more bread than we ever made in our lives. I ain't going to lie. We might have to hit up Tay-Tay, too. I don't know how we going to do it with Wednesday Super Sale, but honestly, bro, I think we're going to have to change up these signs. We can't use the ones from last week. What you mean? They look fresh to me. Bruh, I told you, you got a bad habit with spending money, man. You got to make money to spend money, man. I told you, it got to make sense. You got to make it make sense. If we doing business, then we got to do marketing to make more business. That's just how the game go. Let's not forget about Too Lit Weekend coming up. We definitely going to need some new posters, man. Hopefully, within the end of the weekend, we'll be able to cool down, you know? The first thing come to my mind is we just get a big sign that says 15% off all sales. And maybe we just make it out. 15%? Man, this nigga tripping, man. I told you, we gonna be broke fucking with you, bro. Bro, I told you, this is a totally different type of business, bro. We already over the profit margin. You ain't gotta worry about that. What we gotta do is drop these prices. This is not drugs. We're not selling drugs like how we used to, bro. This is different. These is assets. These are things that people need in their everyday lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they still finna come back to us to get it fixed or get another one. So we ain't even got a trip. 15% ain't nothing. I, 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 I guess we cool with that. Here's my thing, though. We got a website? What you mean, bro? I'm, this is what I'm talking about, man. You got to be more, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be more in it, bro. Of course we got to... Like, come on, man. What kind of question is that? All right. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, we got to spend some more time on this online marketing, too, to make sure we're getting the right amount of exposure we need. You know what I mean? Our customers need to feel like they saving money when they shop with us. We got to literally make them want to spend money with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like how we bring out the baddies and get them, like, half butt booty naked and put, like, a... Like a like a car wash, and then dudes just from you running like from everywhere. They're like, yeah, sell me a car, sell me a car. <laughs> man, you something else, man. I swear, I don't know what I'm gonna do without you, boy. Now here's what the list for the read, man. It's the deal. It's about like two more deals. I need you to close for me, right? You remember that that little Cali thing we were speaking about? I'm going to need you to go situate that for me. You know what I'm saying? Cali? Really? So you finna send me to Cali all by myself? That's crazy. You know I'm finna have mad fun, my G. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get that job done. 
All you got to do is make sure you sign the agreement, handle all the paperwork, and make sure the Italians is on the same page as us. Because when these robberies come out, I need to make sure there ain't no misunderstanding. Man, you know them fucking Italians ain't fucking with us when it comes to that bread, that paper, that cheese, that broccoli, that, you know what I'm saying? Facts. As a matter of fact, I think you should check on them. Because, boy, you know how they get when we don't come around too often. They get comfortable. Do me a favor. On your way back, check the storage for me and make sure everything Gucci. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go handle these motherfuckers real quick and see what's popping. All right. Do your thing. Hit my jack. I want to thank everyone for attending this meeting, taking times out of your schedules, um, taking time out of your sales, and um, everything else that you guys have to do. So I just want to, on behalf of everything, just say thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I know y'all probably wondering what's this meeting for or what's going on at the moment. Let's get into it. Most of you that are new and the ones that are familiar, um, I'm pretty sure you guys worked at bigger dealerships or different, different dealerships and um, various different places. And you guys have wonderful skills. Um, I know most of you aren't, um, you know, what would I say? Uh, aren't, you aren't familiar with working for, you know, or should I say working with um, new business owners as myself and my partner. But we definitely uh, just want to thank you guys for giving us a chance, the opportunity to, to work with you all. Um, on the other hand, the only thing I'd have to say to you all is time management. Time management, time management. Um, treat each sale, each, in, each interaction as the most important interaction of your life. Our clients need to feel comfortable when they're discussing what their needs are for their purchases. We do sales here. This is a car dealership and you guys are all doing great. Um, I'm looking at the numbers. I can't even complain. Uh, between finance, used cars and new cars, you guys are all doing awesome. And that's just another reason why I wanted to call this meeting today and let you guys know that on behalf of the whole dealership, all three locations, um, we're going to open up a new location within the next following weeks. During the end of the project completion, I'll definitely, um, everyone will just take a car and we'll just go over to that new facility and give her a good old hello, you know, and um, you guys could just speak your mind, let us know how you feel about that new location. All right. Now, once again, I just want to thank everyone for all their hard work all their dedication for being here on time for for being that team player that this whole entire team needs and loves we thank you so much everyone all right in one week just one week i've seen numbers got so high it shook the roof used cars weren't even trying to do their best and their numbers were just skyrocketing but they still worked like they were winners and that's what we love we love winners we're winners that's what we do here we win now no matter what you do or how you do it sometimes it's just about your attitude all right i just just take this with you um as we close this meeting your energy is one of the most important factors in life even when you're having a bad day, a sad day, a mad day, a good day, it doesn't matter. Remember, your energy is one of the most important factors in your life. Stay happy and be happy and spread happiness.